Welcome back to Barrel and Grain. Tonight we're going over a new double oaked edition. This is the Double Char by Bib and Tucker. This here is their six year old small batch. So stick around. We're going to do a nice little review and maybe even a little comparison. <laughs> Welcome back. Here we are with another review. Tonight's review is obviously the Bib and Tucker. Uh, this is a Double Char. This is their small batch version. And then it's second and barreled in a heavily charred oak barrel. So just a little bit of reading right off the front. It's aged for minimum six years in a new American oak and then finished in a second heavenly charred barrel giving the bourbon savory smoky notes and an exceptionally smooth finish. Exceptionally smooth. So I actually did get a little bit last night. I tried this out for the first time. Uh, I did catch this at a store, walked into, and I've never seen it. Then I realized I looked it up a little bit, did a little research on it. It's actually just released this year, according to what I've seen on the website. Um, I've never seen it before, and that makes why I actually showed on there it was being released in August. But obviously, I got this in July, um, so obviously that wasn't correct. Um, overall, though, this is made in Tennessee. At least it's showed distilled in Tennessee. It's bottled by Bib and Tucker, uh, and that's in Columbia, Tennessee. So I. Not really quite sure where they source their stuff. Seeing this is six years old, and I don't think Bib and Tucker's been around. I've seen them put out like 12 years. So, anyway, this comes in. This is 88 proof, so slightly lower than your usual double oaks, like your Woodford Reserve, which comes in at 90. Uh, this here says batch number one. So, this is their very first batch of the double char. This is bottle 12883, and it's six years old. So, that's what I kind of have you. Now let's get to the port port and see what's actually in the juice here. So I actually poured a little bit to let it sit earlier. Overall, you can see very deep dark color on the nose. I actually get a slight bit of like almost sweet honey character to it. So I don't, I'm not sure, I don't believe this is Dickel, but it does have almost a little bit of that mineral taste or smell. Get a little bit of honey. I do get a little bit, of, I definitely get the oak. And I also noticed the longer sat in the glass. Throughout the night, it did seem to open up a little bit more. So I'm hoping to see really how this turns out. This is uh, actually my first Bib and Tucker. I've never actually had the Bib and Tucker before. I've had a few people tell me about it that's had it, uh, but I just couldn't pass up anything that's been double oaked. So you can see the legs on it are pretty decent, especially at 88 proof. Oh, definitely got a little more of the char there on that one. And a little bit of sweetness there. It's weird, almost got like a honey sweetness to it, which is not really common in most bourbons. There's definitely a little bit of the basically caramel there. Overall, very sweet smelling. In the back, you definitely get the, the char note for sure. All right, so let's taste this out. So this is my first taste of the day. Let's see how this goes. It is a little bit on the thinner side. It doesn't especially coat the mouth. But I will give it, there is kind of a, a savory note that almost kind of gives you a little bit of like a creamy taste, or at least a creamy mouth feel without being actually coating the mouth. So it's kind of, it's weird, it's a little bit thin but it does have that creamy, savory note to it. It's not a bad thing. Mm. A little better at time. So on that note, I definitely had the char come in. There's definitely the oak, the caramel's there. There is a little bit of I don't want to say grainy. I want to say it's more of like almost you do get a little bit of like a mineral note. 
But overall, I think this is actually pretty decent. I think I paid 54 for this. So $54 being a double oak, it's done six years and then done in the secondary. So it doesn't really say how long it's done in the secondary, but being a double oak, double char that's aged six years, I'm assuming it's probably in there for at least several months. And the color of it kind of says the same thing. So there's a little bit of fruit note there. I want to say kind of in a, a little bit of the pear maybe, but I still get a little bit, there's a little bit of a honey tinge to the back. And then you kind of get hit with the oak and the char. Overall, there's a decent amount going on for it being only 88 proof. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you and be like, this is the most complex thing I've ever had, definitely not. But for being an easy drinking, that for sure it is. So, on that note, I gotta do this just for my own personal sake. I wanna compare this to the Wood for Double O. Now, everybody knows the Wood for Double O. Everybody's had this. Anybody that's a double oak fan knows this is the standard. All right. So let's see what we got here. So right out the gate, color, very similar to tell you the truth. Very similar color. Clear the palette a little bit there. So overall, I mean, they look really identical. There's definitely more of a cherry note than that right out the gate. Yes, very much different. Right out the gate, that is a heavy cherry note. Grant, this bottle, obviously, you can see, has been sitting there open. It's had time to express itself. This one here does not quite have that smell. This is definitely a little bit lighter. Like I said, it has a little bit more of the almost honey side rather heavy cherry over here. Man, this thing is bursting. So, after trying and smelling it, I I gotta say this is, it's hard to beat this. Is this good? Yeah, it's definitely, it's, it's not a bad bourbon. This is hard to beat. This is, I think, six bucks more than that bottle. Go for palate. Heavy secondary bottle, secondary barrel, sorry. And I definitely get more of a cherry note on this. I get a heavy cherry on this. I get the secondary barrel. I'm gonna go back to this, which I hope still holds up. I definitely get the secondary oak. I still get a little bit of honey. The caramel is very light. And I definitely still feel like I get a little bit of a mineral taste. I don't know if it's, I don't know where this is sourced from. That's my biggest thing. If it was Dickel, I can understand. It is what it is. I'm not a Dickel hater. I'm not saying it's the greatest thing. Um, but it is what it is and that's just the bourbon they produce. On the other hand, it's not, Maybe it's just the way they distill it, the water. I really want to like this bottle. I mean, it's a cool looking bottle, the double char. The one big thing I do notice compared to this is the legs on this, the viscosity, the legs seem to drip a lot more than they do in the Woodford Reserve. As you can see, this one here definitely has the glass it's coated. This one here, you can kind of see it's thin, which is the total opposite. This here actually, this one drinks at the same viscosity. That one has a little bit more of the, the double oak. If you're looking for double oak, it means hard to beat that one. This one here, if you're a double oak fan, I would definitely recommend it because it's double oak. And overall, it's 
pretty good for the price. Is it the same wood for reserve? No, it's not quite the same. But it's good, yes it's good. And I would not feel bad about having this on my shelf and breaking this out, especially right now in the summertime. This is actually a perfect thing for summer. Comes in 80 proof, it's easy sipping. It's not gonna be 110, 115 proof. It's gonna be a great summertime sip at the end of the night. So that's kind of my review for today. Bib and Tucker, six year, double char. I think it's, if it's not in your area, it soon will be. Um, comes in right around that 50 to $55 mark. Compared to Double Oak, it's a wrap. So thanks for stopping in. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I would like to hear your comments. If you get to see this or try this, I'd gladly like to hear what you say about this. I kind of know what everybody has to say about this. This has been around. This is kind of the standard double oak there is. But overall, pretty good. But not quite as good. So on that note, keep hunting.